Hey guys, and welcome to General Astronomy. Um, so, for this online course, you don't really ever get to see me face to face uh, unless we schedule a meeting. So, I figured I'd just uh, put something together uh, to give you an idea of who I am. Uh, our first discussion board in the course uh, asks you guys to talk a little bit about yourselves, tell me who you are, and some general uh, things about yourself. So, I figured I'd do the exact same thing here. Um, so, uh, we have your instructor. My name is Alexander Spahn. You can just call me Alex. I really don't mind. Um, if you want to stay with formalities, you can call me Mr. Spahn. Uh, this is an image of me uh, teaching physics. Uh, this was only for Halloween, though. I don't do this every day. Um, but for an actual photo, uh, this is probably the most recent picture of me. Um, I don't have any uh, really formal photos taken of me. Um, I say that uh, there is one, but much like photos for IDs. It, it's, you know, personal preference, don't really care for it. So I'll leave you with this. So this is me, um, and I am your instructor for general astronomy. So a little bit of my history. Uh, I was born and raised in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I technically lived in South Milwaukee. I went to South Milwaukee High School, and I wasn't, you know, the best student at the first couple of years of high school. Um, but my career in this whole field of science really kicked off, I think, when I was put into trigonometry B instead of trigonometry A, which was for the better students. That kind of, for some reason, really hit me hard, and I didn't like that, so I worked my butt off. Um, I ended up skipping the next math class, going right into pre-calc and calculus, and it just took off from there. Um, I really developed an interest in sciences when I took my physics and chemistry courses, and so that's how things kicked off here. Um, so I stayed in Milwaukee until I was 18. At that point, I went to uh, college at the Florida Institute of Technology. Here I pursued uh, double major uh, degrees in both astrophysics and mathematical sciences. Uh, so uh, I have a bachelor degree in both of those fields from Florida Tech. Uh, this is an image actually of the physical science building at the campus, and you can see at the very top here the observatory we had with a multi-million dollar telescope. I spent more nights than I had hoped in that uh, little observatory, but it's always fun to explore the cosmos. Uh, this is basically where I lived for four years. Uh, I do have a dorm off to the right of this building, but uh, I mostly spent my life in, in this building for four years. Uh, from there, after I got my two degrees, I went to graduate school uh, at Texas A&M University Commerce, which is only about an hour, maybe an hour and a half southeast of here. Uh, here I pursued a master's degree in physics. So much like at Florida Tech, I spent two years of my life basically in this building. I did have an apartment nearby, but that was my secondary home to this building. Um, while I was here at A&M Commerce, I uh, was a student teacher, and I also ran laboratories, and I was a stockroom manager, and I was president of the Society of Physics Students. Uh, so I had lots of different things I was doing at the time. So I spent two years there, I got my master's degree in physics, and then immediately afterward, I started teaching here at Southeastern Oklahoma State University. Um, so I started teaching just two years ago. This is actually... I'm going into my third year of teaching. This is my second time ever teaching online astronomy. So there are still some kinks and stuff that i got to work out. But in these photos, you have some examples of me and some of my physics students. Um, on the left, we have our ugly Christmas sweater day photos. And on the right, we have our uh, Halloween dress-up day photos, where they get bonus points if they relate it to physics. So you can see a lot of probable like, equations and stuff in there. Um, so we try to have fun whenever we can. So this is my th going into my third year of teaching, um, and it is something I've always wanted to do, which leads me into my next point, uh, career goals. This is something I ask you guys what your goals are. Well, for me, one of mine was to be a teacher. So, all right, I've done one of them. That's awesome. Um, I'm so happy that I can do this and I can share my passions with you guys, and that, honestly, that I can help you learn and maybe take you to the next step um, in your career. Uh, I also am very interested in weather. Uh, I've never actually studied any of the any weather uh, formally, but it's something I've followed throughout my entire life. Um, even as a kid, this is kind of lame, but when I was really young, I would actually print out blank maps of the United States, uh, sit down watching the Weather Channel every day, and I would draw weather patterns on the blank maps uh, multiple times every day, 
and you could almost like flip through the pages as a flip book and see like storm systems moving through the U.S. Uh, so by the time I was done with that phase, I had several hundred pages of that. Um, so it was a lot of fun, I guess, at the time for me. But uh, the passion never really left, and you'll see that again in just a moment. Um, so a little bit of the more personal side. Um, I do have several hobbies that I don't necessarily have a lot of time for, but uh, whenever I do get some time, these are what I tend to do. Uh, first of all, I like photography. I wouldn't say I'm professional by any means, but um, I do really appreciate uh, the beauty of nature, and I love to share that with people as well. So most of my photos are of animals, unfortunately mostly at the zoo because I don't get to go out and explore too much, but um, also of weather and just landscapes in general. Uh, so this is just a sample of some of my photos. If you're interested in more, if you want to see them in higher quality, I do link my Flickr page that you can always take a look at too. Um, but certainly by no means are you expected to do that. Um, so I mentioned that I like weather. Well, I actually recently took up storm chasing. Um, so here I have several animated GIFs of some things that I saw just this past couple weeks. So in the top left, uh, you have me chasing a storm that never developed a tornado, but right here you can see what we call a wall cloud forming, where it's this deep lowering in the sky, and you can tell it's actually rotating um, kind of counterclockwise here. Um, so that was I was hoping that would drop a tornado. That was one of my first chases this summer. Um, here you actually see another wall cloud forming in a totally different storm on a different day, um, actually eight days later. Um, so here you see a wall cloud, form, cloud forming as well. Uh, eventually this started to spin up, but also never dropped a tornado. Um, however, I did film uh, two tornadoes uh, this summer so far. Hopefully I can get another one. This is my first tornado uh, of the summer, a little stovepipe or elephant trunk tornado. And here actually is a massive wedge tornado um, from the same system as this one at the top, but just like maybe an hour later. Um, this guy was an EF2, I think, uh, in the scale. A pretty large and devastating tornado. Luckily, it didn't really hit any uh, cities or towns. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I've taken up storm chasing. So that's one of my biggest hobbies, at least in the summer when it is storm season. Uh, I am also kind of a pyro. Um, I love fireworks. This is just a sample of my latest work, but um, I think a year and a half ago, I made this contraption here that shot um, a thousand Roman candle shots in 45 seconds. And then this past winter, a couple months ago, I made this, which shot 1,500 Roman candle shots in about 45 seconds. And this time I actually wore like a face mask and everything because I was not safe at all the first time. Uh, but I love fireworks and it's, it's getting to the point where I'm being really stupid, I guess. So don't try this at home. Um, but yeah, so that's another hobby of mine, um, I guess, whenever I'm feeling the urge to do that. Uh, but then in general, um, some basic things. These aren't really important, but my all-time favorite movies are Lord of the Rings and Saving Private Ryan. Uh, I have tons of favorites that include Arrival, Donnie Darko, Scott Pilgrim, uh, many more, but there's no point in going through all of them. Uh, for te television, don't have a lot of time to watch shows, but I do keep up to date with Game of Thrones, um, the HBO successor Westworld, and then Rick and Morty, of course. And if you've never seen these shows, I very highly recommend them, although not a single one of them is necessarily appropriate uh, for, like, I mean... We're all human and adults, right? So it doesn't matter. Game of Thrones has a lot of adult themes, and so do the others. But um, excellent shows. I highly recommend them. Uh, just, you know, after you get your work done, of course. Um, I don't follow many sports, but I am a huge, huge Green Bay Packer fan, being from Wisconsin. Um, for music, when I was a teenager, I listened to rock and metal. Um, but ever since college, I've been listening pretty much only to dance music, so pr primarily techno and deep house. Uh, that's been going on for about eight years, so that's all I really listen to. Um, and for books, don't have time to read, um, so I ask, do textbooks count? Uh, I won't bore you with my favorite textbooks, but um, it's really all I have time to look at. I, I don't have time to sit down and read. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's a, the general idea. Uh, so I figured I'd leave you with a nice quote. Uh, so this is a quote by Hubble, which states, Equipped with his five senses, man explores the universe around him and calls the adventure science. So to me, this is an excellent quote, uh, because when we go through a course like astronomy, we are looking out into the universe. We're on an exploration. And although it can be very tedious, and, there, and maybe not in our class, but there will be, well, 
I guess, a ridiculous amount of mathematics involved. Um, and, you know, it could take an entire lifetime of work to maybe only get, you know, one tiny bit of information added to the collection of knowledge that we have. Um, but it's a beautiful thing. And I hope to, again, share some of this passion with you in the course. But it really is an adventure, even though it could be tedious. And I know you guys have to work on lots of homeworks and lab assignments and stuff like that. I hope that you can at least get a sense of this adventure that we're going to be going on. Uh, so, again, I'm trying to share this passion I really wish I could uh, make it more interesting in a face-to-face -face class. It's a little bit easier to do that. Um, but still, I hope you guys can enjoy the course, and I'm so excited to work with you guys. Um, so, you know, just I love interacting with you guys. If you ever have questions, let me know, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, so that said, enjoy the course, and I'll see you in lectures. Take care.